Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to block BYD updates. Now the prerequisite of this, you'll need to have the USB debugging turned on. So this is where you can find your USB debugging. So go to software, reset to factory settings. So if you press this multiple times, it will pops up with this screen and you can see that debug mode USB when it's connected is switched on um, yours, if yours is still off turn it on now the other thing to note is I also have the wireless ADB debug switch loaded into the device so if you don't have that you need to get that installed first um, and also have that turned on now the other things that you need to have is you also need to have this thing called the app manager now i already have this installed so if you have not um, follow the instruction on how to install this you can use your browser and you can install it directly so if you already have that so you can search for app manager which is this one as you can see you need to download and install the APK okay but I'm not gonna go through that here um, so you know where to find it so once you got the app manager installed it will say allow usb debugging so i will say yes allow then it says also working on adb mode and you need to say agree to this and you search for the byd Sorry, you need to search for OTA. All right, so this is the two that you need to uninstall. In this case, I have already have them installed. Uh, uninstalled, so you can see the icon is red over here. So the OTA server and system updates is now currently uninstalled. This method is completely reversible. Um, clicking on it will install that so i can show you that it is installed uh, system update i can reinstall that so now as you can see both of these is installed and now to uninstall you click it again So that let's go back you can uninstall say yes Push that now this left hand bar will turn into red so that's this one you want to uninstall this right so now there's no more showing any version so this will stop BYD from updating your software. Um, so it's completely reversible. So for whatever reason, if you need to stop that software upgrade to retain a certain feature in your original version. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.